Good day grade limits. Welcome to your first lesson in week 14. Now last week we looked at the sine graph, the cos graph and the tan graph and we looked at what we knew about it. And now we're going to introduce you to some new things and what we're going to be looking at are period changes, the changes in the period. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plot our sine, basic sine theta from minus 360 to to positive 360 and then we're going to plot y is equal to sine 2 theta and see what happens to our graphs. So let's start off with just popping in our values for our minus 360 to 360 now. Hopefully by now you know that this graph does this. It goes 0 and if that's 1 that's going to be 90, 180, 270, 360 so it's going to be looking something like that and it does the reverse here 90, 180, 270 and 36 so it does this so we know that these values are 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0 minus 1 and 0. But now we're going to be plotting y is equal to sine of 2 theta. y is equal to sine 2 theta. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically, and I'm going to choose another color because really I can't see that properly. There we go. We're going to put this into our calculator. So let's get out our calculator and we're going to go sine of 2 theta. So we're going to go sine of bracket 2 times negative 360 and we're going to end up with a zero. So we think okay well nothing really has changed there. Let's look at minus 270. So again if we put our, take out our calculator we'll go sine of bracket 2 times minus 270 and now we have it back at 0 again. Hmm, this is interesting. Let's try sine of negative 180. So if we do that, we go sine of bracket 2 times negative 180 bracket and we get 0 again. So something really weird is happening here. We're getting 0 at minus 360, 270 and at minus 180. So we are doing something a little bit strange here. Something strange is happening. So what about if we plot a number halfway between 360 and 270. So 360 and 270 are 60 degrees apart. So let's say, is it 360 and 270? Yes it is. So no, they're 90 degrees apart. So let us maybe go, okay, 270 plus 45. So let me just write here, 270 plus 45 degrees, so that is going to be 315 degrees. So let's now try and plot minus 350, 315 degrees and see what happens. So we're going to go sine of bracket 2 times minus 315 degrees. Ah, and we have a 1. So at this point here, we are getting a 1. We're getting x equals 1. What about if we choose a number exactly halfway between 270 and minus 180, which is at minus 225. So let's plot that in. So we're going to go sine of bracket 2 times negative 225 and do you see we get a minus 1. So we're getting a minus 1. So now if I plot these points, do you see that this graph here is doing what? Do you see that before the whole of my sine graph from there to there would finish in 360 degrees but now all of a sudden it is finishing in 180 degrees. Let's now 
pop in this point here of minus 135 to see what happens next. Let's just, what do we think is going to happen? Surely, what should happen is this should repeat its pattern. But let's just check by popping in the next point of minus 135. So let's do that. So we're going to go sine of bracket 2 times negative 135 close bracket and there we go we've got one awesome so we can see that this graph here is going to just repeat itself it's going to go up and down please don't do what I'm doing erase that bit and do it nicely in pencil and then at 45 degrees now it's going to be at 1 at 90 at 0 135 it's 1 at 180 it's back to 0 so it's going to go up and down and it's going to do it again. So what grade 11s has happened to the period of this graph? Do you see that the graph's period has got shorter and in fact it's got shorter by a factor of 2. Before the period of the graph used to be from 360 all the way through to 0 or from minus 360 to 0 and then it was from 0 back through to 360 whereas now it's going from minus 360 to minus 180 it repeats itself again at 0 repeats itself again to 180 and again to 360 so now our period is 180 degrees do, do you see that the period is half what it used to be the range is still from minus 1 to 1 and our amplitude is 1. So if we change the number in front of the degrees so we actually change the period. Okay, so this is what it would look like if we plotted it on a proper computer screen. You would see that you'd end up there is the normal y is equal to sine theta with the full 360 degrees and now you can see that we're ending up with 2 for the price of 1. So this time we've got a period of 180 degrees. Let's see what happens if we now make it sine of half a theta. Sine of half a theta. So let's pop that in a calculator. So this time we're going sine of bracket 0.5 times 360. And what do we end up? We end up with 0. So it is at 0. What about so that 0? What about minus 270? Okay. Sine of bracket 0.5 times minus 270. Close bracket. Now it's minus 0 0.71. So this is now minus 0 0.71. Okay, before we have a panic attack about that, let's plot the next one. The next one is minus 180. So if we do that, we're going to go sine of bracket 0.5 times minus 180, close bracket, and you'll see it is minus 1. Minus 1. Okay, so this now is at minus 1. Okay, now if we go sine of minus 90, okay, so we're going to go sine of bracket 0.5 times negative 90, close bracket, and we again get minus 0 0.71, minus 0 0.71 sine of a half of 0 should just give us 0 but let's just try it anyway sine of bracket 0 0.5 times 0 close bracket is 0 yes we were right about that let's do sine of 90 now sine of 90 so sine of half of 90 in fact so it's 0 0.5 times 90 oh no try again 0.5 times 90. Do you realize that we're actually finding the sine of 45 degrees here? Sine of 0.5 times 90 
is going to be 0 0.707. So at 90 it's 0 0.71 again. Sine of 180 degrees or sine half times 180 degrees is going to be sine of bracket 0 0.5 times 180 close bracket which is now 1 so that's 1 let's do 270 what do you expect it to be do you see that this became naught minus 171 minus 1 then it became mirror image minus 0 0.71 naught now we've got 0 0.711 so what do you think is going to happen I think let's plot this along let's see what happens we've got minus 360 We've got minus 1, minus 0 0.71 is about over there. More like, yeah, but over there. Back up to 0 0.71, up to 0. Yeah, is 180, which is at 1. This is 0 0.71 over here. So do you see that this graph is doing this? Okay. And now it's doing this. So what do you think if we know the shape of the sine curve? We know that it should start coming down again. So I am going to predict that this is going to be 0 0.71. So we have a mirror image. But let's check it on our calculator. So we've got sine of bracket 0 0.5 times, what was that, 270 close bracket equals 0 0.71 there you go so that's 0 0.71 and that goes back to zero so that there is 0 0.71 and it goes back to zero so right what have we done do we see that we've finished our whole sine curve but it's taken us from a minus 360 degrees all the way to 360 degrees so do you agree that our period is now 720 degrees our period has doubled so what does that tell us this is actually the inverse of what this is if this is a half then our period doubles or you can think of it that we get half the wave in the same amount of space or if it if we go back again okay if it doubles do you see that it actually gives you half the period okay or you could think of it as the fact that we get double the amount of waves so let's go back here now let's talk about the amplitude the amplitude hasn't been affected at all so your amplitude is still one and therefore your range is also still minus one actually as a square bracket minus one to one right so if you compare it again you can see beautifully it goes through and slowly in the same amount of time that it would normally take one full wave it is only done half a wave let's talk about sine of why is it a sine of minus theta and what I want to do is I'm just going to change my pen I don't really like this orange okay let's think about the cast diagram for a second do you agree that normally we would have sine of theta and sine of theta is over here so this is the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant so if we've got sine of minus theta we're really talking about an angle which is equal to theta but it's in the, the fourth quadrant it's equal to theta but it's in the fourth quadrant now if we think about this we've got all stations to Cape Town which means that in the fourth quadrant what is your sign your sign is negative so therefore we can say that sine theta if I had drawn this do you agree these are just mirror images of each other? That one is positive because it's in the positive. And now I've just gone y is sine negative theta. So I've gone backwards. And that then that minus theta is just a mirror image of that. Therefore, we can say that this is exactly the same value of minus sine theta. It's just the negative value. Let's say, for example, I told you that this here was 3 and I told you that it was 4 and therefore this would be 5. And obviously this line here would be minus 3 but that line would still be 5. And if we use Sokotoa, so 
TOA, we know that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So if we look in the first quadrant, we can see that sine theta is equal to 3 over 5. If we look in the fourth quadrant, sine of negative theta is equal to opposite, which is negative 3 over 5. But do you see that is exactly the same as saying minus sine theta. So if you see a sine of negative theta, what is going to happen? All that we're going to end up doing is drawing a graph which flips across the y-axis. So this is exactly the same as drawing y is equal to minus sine theta, which we've done already. Right, grade 11s. Let's just look at the effect of k. Your effect of k, what are we talking about? We're talking about the fact that we've got y is equal to a sine k theta plus q. Okay, so what are we talking about with the k here? We're talking about how does this affect the period, okay? And all that you need to realize is that if k is bigger than 1, it means that you're getting more graphs in, okay? Where if k is smaller than 1, we are getting fewer graphs in, okay? And that's all you really need to know. Right, so let's talk about the standard form y is equal to a sine k theta plus q. Your a is your amplitude, remember this. So if your a is bigger than 1, we get a bigger amplitude. If a is smaller than 1, we get a smaller amplitude. If k is bigger than 1, then our period gets smaller. Whereas if k is smaller than 1, our period gets bigger. And the vertical shift, remember Q is your vertical shift, so therefore we know that if Q is positive, then it means it's moving the graph up, but if Q is negative, it's moving the graph down. And that, grade 11s, is all you need to know at the moment with regards to your sign graph. Please make sure you know and understand how these things are shifted, make sure you can draw them, and also make sure you can interpret the graphs and then go do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.